Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Today we are going to speak about which combo of weapon is the best in your world, which one is the most underrated, fun to use, which one you should use in which situation, and what you should do with it. Alright? So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start uh, with the war build, and I'm gonna do the war build kind of fast because everyone already know them, and there are so much meta that you're gonna hear about it all the time. And then after speaking about the war build, I'm gonna go on the other like the OPR build, open world build, the duel build, and then the PVE. And each one of those combo, I'm gonna tell you how they perform in each one of those um, things. So. All right, we cannot speak about wep weapon combo if we are not speaking about sword and shield and spear. Sword and shield and spear is so easy, you can use it uh, in the war and EV armor. It's like the easiest stuff to use for sure. Like there is no, nothing that can beat sword and shield and spear. It's just the best combo in game, all right? So uh, sword and shield and spear, you can put it in light and you can go in dungeon with it. Very low constitution and you're going to give the damage buff to your team. But most of the time, uh, your your tank already gonna give the damage buff. So it's mostly if your tank is not using a sword and shield, then you can have a DPS with a sword and shield. But if your tank is using it, you better not. All right. So in duel, sword and shield and spear is still the best weapon combo, and in OPR, kind of like uh, Zerg are always winning. So. If you get a Zerg of uh, Great Axe and Hammer, you may be going to win against the Sword and Shield and Spear. But uh, most of the rest of the combo will just not work against it. Uh, and uh, into the open world, the Sword and Shield and Spear is not going to have a lot of movement. So it's the, maybe the place where it's the worst, it's in open world PvP. But if your goal is just to Katsura objective, you just stay on the objective and defend it. So you... With, it's fine with the sword and shield and spear. And if your goal is to run mission, uh, well, the sword and shield and spear don't really like. You have the leaping strike to escape. You better to change your spear with, for like a hatchet or like anything for just. If you get dismounted, you pop it like you pop the berserker and you run away. Like it's just something like that. Like when you run open world PvP mission, your goal is mostly just to run away and not fight and. You can go into the Persian World PvP and just fight people too, it's even more fun. So yeah, let's stop speaking about this toxic build that everyone hates, Sword and Shield and Spear. Great Axe and Warhammer. Great Axe and Warhammer, easy to use, they are the most used in War, Sword and Shield and Spear too. And Great Axe Warhammer is the only combo that's gonna beat Sword and Shield and Spear in Clump. But uh, how to say that in solo in a 1v1, the Sword and Spear, Sword and Shield and Spear is gonna beat the Great Axe and Warhammer just because uh, there's more CC into it, more uh, crowd control ability. All right, so the healer uh, in war, you're gonna use the, um, the rapier 90% uh, of the time. Sometimes there's one healer that is the AoE healer into the war that is gonna use the Void Gauntlet so he can heal even more. Heal even more. And uh, the Flail is mostly just the tank that is using it. Most of the time it's not the healer. But maybe the meta gonna change, they're gonna meet that. If they make the heal, healing hard on the Flail, that would be great <coughs> for that. Uh... So the healer, uh, in small scale, like 3v3, you can use a bunch of weapons and that, that work. Like, uh, what happened is the rapier, you can only escape with it, so it's almost useless in the 3v3. And at the same time, uh, like, if the, the, when the space is really small, you can just use it on your, your advantage. And what happened with the healer, you can put, uh, you know, the green gem into your weapon. Uh, there's a weapon that make any weapon scale of focus. Focus is the main stat the healer use. So you can go like in 3v3 and use like life staff and great sword just for fun. You can go look in my video. I have a video about a life staff and great sword build and I win like 7 3v3 in a row. Uh, back to back solo queuing doing it. So it worked really good. And for sure the void gun like is nice but... Right now we are speaking about all the build and 
I want to, to press the people to go on off meta build because it's one of the most fun to do in the game. Like sticking to the meta is great and I like it and you need to do it if you're against a good player. But when you start playing OPR and open world and stuff that there's a bunch of different people and you just don't care that much. Man, have fun, man. Just have fun. So the mage... Uh, so Sword and Shield and Spirit Great Axe and Warhammer, there's a lot in War. Healer, you can see it's a third or roll that there's a lot. And then there's Mage, IGVG, and then Archer. Mage gonna use uh, Fire Staff and Ice Gauntlet. Sometimes they're gonna put another secondary. But the main is Fire Staff, Ice Gauntlet. Uh, IGVG is just Ice Gauntlet, Void Gauntlet. They're usually in Medium and mostly only in the War. Into most of the other mods are not really good. Sometimes you're gonna see a good IGVG player popping off in like 3v3 in small scale, but it's very, very raw. But there is some, but they are raw. Most of the time they're gonna switch like the IG or the VG for a blunderbuss, so they're gonna be like IG blunderbuss, VG, VG blunderbuss into small scale. Same for the open world, there's just no movement to IGVG, so you need to have support like a healer with you, you're, and you're more like a support, so you need to be supporting someone. So like the IGVG is only good in war, so it's the, one of those only builds that you can only use in war and it's good. You can use it to practice in OPR, but it's not uh, amazing. Archer is just good everywhere. Uh, in war, there's not a lot of Archer slot because uh, everyone is AV and the arrow does almost nothing. But um, there's still some archer slot in war, but and in anything else like in duel, OPR, uh, open world PvP, mostly in open world PvP, the archer is just amazing. Like uh, usually you're gonna use a rapier and you're gonna escape, so they are very, very hard to catch. So yeah, so this is the war build. We just view the war build and then let, let's go on the fun build, like the the non-meta build that are sometimes used in war but are mostly to use into anything else when you want to have fun and those builds are still very viable some of those are like nostalgic og build that got nerfed but they are still usable just not strong like they was and yeah it, it, it's like that the game got nerfed a lot but some combos still feel really good uh, so you're gonna hear me talking about this all the time. Great Axe Blunderbuss is just so fun. Seriously, Great Axe Blunderbuss, I had a blast playing with it. Mostly into um, OPR uh, because there's not that much movement for uh, open world PvP, but for the, the the scale of OPR is like just a perfect scale. So you have to catch up to people all the time and. You don't have to escape too far, so like, I don't know, Great Axe Blunderbuss and OPR, and it's just so fun. Uh, great Axe, Great Sword, this build is amazing, it can be used in, uh, like, Great Axe Blunderbuss is mostly just a medium and light build. Great Axe, Great Sword, uh, you can use it in light or AV or medium, like, it's really what you want, and this is one of the strongest combo in the, in the game, one of the most under, underrated combo in the game is a Great Axe, Great Sword, you can use it in any game mode even in pve in pve uh, the great axe great sword is doing amazing mostly in light arm armor for sure so yeah if you want uh, to catch up to your enemy and have a lot of firepower man this is the thing for you you have movement but not that much armor and you have a lot of dps too uh, the sword and shield and great sword. So we're gonna like I, I'm I tried to think of as much great sword build as possible because great sword is one of those weapons that make everything OP. So yeah, sword and shield and great sword is OP because sword and shield is OP and great sword is OP. So you, if you put them together, it's just good. Like there's just no way it can be bad. The, so the underrated build is Fire Staff Great Axe. There's a bunch of other um, build that I can speak with the Fire Staff. But the the best that is the most unused is the Fire Staff Great Axe. Fire Staff Void Gantel is not really good. But Fire Staff Great Axe is usable and not use, used a lot. So this one is very fun to use, very satisfying. 
there's a great axe. You need the artifact to do it. Uh, you need the artifact great axe. You need to go look um, on the on the wiki. Wait, what's the name? Abyss great axe. Yep, yep, yep. So great sword and a hatchet. Once again, great sword. Whatever you put it with, it's amazing. A hatchet, you gain so much haste. You can catch up to people, but uh, I feel like the great great axe is better just to catch up to people. So yeah. Great sword and hatchet is more like a solo build, but it's work. And hatchet and spear too. I'm gonna speak about it now since we are speaking about those builds. Hatchet and spear is on is better than a great sword hatchet can do. It's hard to see between the two. But yeah, great sword hatchet and great sword and spear. Uh, uh, no, Great Sword and Spear, you don't have that much movement. So, Great Sword and Spear is more like a, a war combo and a PvE combo. Great Sword and Hatchet is more small scale, uh, duel, uh, open world, you have a lot of haste. And Hatchet and Spear is more like an OPR build. Uh, you can use it in dungeon, but it got nerfed. It was a, the most used build at the start of the game in uh, Isle of Mutation was. Hatchet and Spear, but it got nerfed. The Hatchet got nerfed. So yeah, it's why people don't use the Hatchet that much anymore. But the Hatchet was one of the best weapons in the past. And it still feels really good to use it. Just got nerfed. Uh, Blunderbuss IG. This, like, when you see someone with a Blunderbuss IG, just don't run straight into it if you're in light armor. You're gonna die. Like, he's gonna put the Ice Wall onto you and then combo you with a Blunderbuss. You're gonna die. Same with the Void Gauntlet. Blunderbuss, Void Gauntlet, those are like amazing and they do a lot of burst, but they don't have a lot of movement. So if you stay at good distance and you burst it, you're gonna win. Or if you manage to CC chain it and not take too much Blunderbuss DPS, you're gonna win. Sword and Shield Blunderbuss, during a moment, it was kind of short, but there was a moment in the game where the Sword and Shield Blunderbuss was one of the best combo in the game. Like, that people was just stunning you with the sword and shield and then doing a blunderbuss combo to you and there was just nothing to do almost about it if you wear a medium or light armor easy armor was surviving but medium and light armor was just dying in one combo from that this this build is still usable and i've still seen some people pop some 30 kill game with it but it's just not good like it was so the rapier vg or the rapier ig this one is tricky really really hard to play i've seen some people you're gonna see some video on youtube some people play like 5 to 50 con with that and they do like some 1v2 1v3 but you got like the the part that you don't see they do 1v3 montage but they die all the time trying and they don't succeed it's not like me that is like pop enough all the time and just take the best sequence they then they are just there like I, I saw a lot of them in my OPR and they are just not like sometimes they're gonna manage to get a good angle and finesse into it but sometimes they just there's nothing to do with this build if if the OPR is too clumpy and you don't manage to get the kill away from the clump you're never gonna succeed but into the PvE it's one of the best damage build is the the rapier IG or the rapier VG. If your healer is using a flare, you can use a VG. So yeah, <clears throat> musket void gauntlet. We always speak about the musket rapier. It's a good one, but the musket void gauntlet for sure have its place in the game. There's the tether, and if if you do a mistake in front of someone, we have the tether. Manage to tether you, and then he musket you. You're just done. Like there's just nothing to do about this. And uh, Musket IG, it's very rare that you're gonna find some people do it good. It was stronger at the start of the game, but it's still sometime you're gonna run into a Musket Bear and he's gonna put the ice wall. It's it's happening and uh, it's a good way for him to headshot. But yeah, what happened is at the start when you were rooted into an ice wall, it was not possible to dodge. So people was rooting you and then trying to edge shot you but now it's possible to dodge when you're rooted so you can dodge this uh healer with a flail so yeah we spoke about the healer the healer with a flail is more like a medium armor build you can do it in almost anything but with medium armor it's only that i really seen people popping up with it 
And it's mostly that they are just hard to kill, man. Like, uh, they're gonna stay on the objective in OPR, and man. Or, like, uh, anywhere, when they want to, a healer just want to survive and he don't care about his teammate at all, almost. Man, just do that. You you can help your teammate. If you have some teammate that don't need a lot of help and just are good to survive by themselves, you can do that. Or if you already have a healer in your group and you just want to do different, like... Healer with a flail feel kind of good, and it's fun to have a build like this. Seriously, like I said before, the healer with almost whatever with the gem into it too, it's pretty fun. But remember, in PvE, the healer is mostly just uh, Void Gauntlet, uh, Life Staff. And if you have a very pure Void Gauntlet in your group, then you can change for a flail. But it's raw. You can see I have a top leaderboard run as a healer with the flail. But it what you're gonna see the flail have some special ability like, like a cleanse and uh, there's the dungeon tempest that you get rooted every time you pass into a portal and you can cleanse yourself and all your team with the the flail. So the time that you are rooted when you pass into the portal, it's like you are not rooted anymore. So you can just pass through portal like that. And uh, yeah, there's it's not some glitch, but there's some mechanic to remember in a game like this. And if you just heal, healing always with the same weapon or playing with the same four weapon, there's some mechanic like this that you will never uh, even be aware to. So the Spear and Great Sword, we spoke about this. It's usable in war and in PvE. In PvE, it's one of the places where it's the best combo. Uh, Spear Great Sword, you're sure of what you do. Spear Great Sword, Spear Great Axe in PvE, you're sure. Spear Great Axe in PvP, it sucks. It's bad, but Spear Great Sword, uh, PvE, PvP, it's the same. In PvP, there's just not enough escape ability, but in war, if you're medium, it's fine, kind of. Like, uh, there's enough people around to support you. Uh, so, yeah, in PvE, it's one of the, the best combo. You, there's two ways to use it. One, you can main Great Sword and use the Spear as you need utility or you main the spear and use the great sword as utility so yeah uh yeah great sword life staff i spoke about this spear life staff there's the scorpions thing you can pull the people onto you with the scorpion and if you're the life staff user you're the eater of your group so you pull the people to your group that's pretty good but if you have eye movement people they're always going to run it uh, away from you it's going to be hard to do uh, you're gonna see on the internet if you look for Keg God, there is that dude. Uh, he, he's really funny. It's a nice dude. You can go look. He's putting a keg. Uh, it's a bomb on the ground. It takes like five to ten seconds to blow, and he light it, and then he wait at the good moment and he pulls someone with his javelin, and the the dude is like pull it pull back into him with the javelin, and then the dude is over the bomb, so he die by the bomb. And it work. It work a lot. They do have a lot of clip of barrel like this. It's like one of the troll way to do kill in the game, and that's amazing. So for the tank, they use sword and shield and hammer. It's possible to use a sword and shield and hammer in uh, like medium and light too. It was one of the best one v one build at the start of the game, but they nerfed it a bit, so it's a bit harder to do the CC chain. But it's still possible. The sword and shield and spear is just better for light armor build one v one. But Sword and Shield and Hammer is one of the best combo. It's the best combo for PvE tanking. For PvP tanking in uh, Flail and IG. Or, or Flail and VG, but more Flail and IG. And uh, yeah, Sword and Shield and Hammer is still usable in PvP. It's really fun to use. It's feel good. You feel so much tanky with this. And you get the, the CC, AOE CC, just to save yourself when you get in trouble. Like, amazing. I've seen a few people using musket and great axe too with the artifact great axe I think but it like it was a group of people and it was already really good with the musket so it was viable for them but I'm not sure that is viable for everyone but yeah musket great axe it's possible there's that great axe that scale of int the artifact that is that I spoke before and there's the sword and shield and flail I think this is one of the mid combo in the game just because when you don't have any more stamina to block and you switch for the flail, you don't have stamina to block anymore anyway. So you're almost better to use anything else with the sword and shield. 
So the spear hatchet, I, I think I'm going to finish with this. And if I forget one of your favorite combo, I'm so sorry. Just tell me into the comment section. I, I can rate it. I can tell you what my thought about it, uh, if I would use it or not. Just ask whatever you want. So yeah, the spear hatchet, uh, it was an amazing combo during a long time in the game. Now it got nerfed, but it's still usable. Most of the time, you're going to see people running uh, alone into the PR doing it. Uh, there's some streamer that do that, BDLG. It's satisfying, one of the satisfying to, thing to do in the game, but it's not one of the best combo. So, yeah. Uh, this combo, this video is very long, so I'm going to have to end it like that. Uh, thanks to everyone who, who support this channel. I need you. Have a good day. Peace out. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You've been fucking cooked by the most. You brought the musket back. There's like three of them over there just all firing at you. Yeah. I did not get a fun uh, situation to be in. No way, dude. Hey, brother, please. Dude, just die to a wolf <laughs> instead of me. He suicided to the wolf. Andrew Dolbeck toward uh, Moon. 70 now. I got the musket in on me right Is now. Is it? And ASVP too. Coming. Yeah, ASVP get that dude. I'm, I'm coming. I hit him four times. Five times. Got Good. It. So we chase. That guy. Spider Man team, let's go. <laughs> yeah. The door blocked me, what the fuck? Good. Where are you, Tobek? The door blocked me. Oh. But I got oh. the same dude. Uh, like, oh, I got the you. dude that you was fighting. I'm gonna try to join you. I'm just killing door. Oh, back out. Or mid. Old dinosaur right there is pretty good. Take care. An old dinosaur? Yeah, he's very good. Like, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I wanna actually fight him. He's not dead. You see that? Wait, right, I need to use a potion against him, can do. Yeah, same. He's not dead. So cool. And he always play with the cakes. Oh shit, he does. Yeah. Nice. Oh, One there's some chase. Watch out. Nice. Um, just have a regen here. Oh, someone there, someone there. Wait there for I'm close to it. Okay, now. I replay man. Good. Done. Are you guys the rats in mid? Yeah, we ran. <laughs> oh no! It was bound to happen, dude. I was gonna be <laughs> so many people to that wall. I know. Raiden is not dead. Old dinosaur is coming back. Almost got him. Got him. 
I hit him like five. Dude, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm feeling very confident with this flurry thing, Majin. You're not VR. Yeah, I know, I know. Run, my friend, run! Zoom, zoom! 